Hi, my name is Andrew. I work for Cellcom. I'm going to be showing you how to back up your phone today. There's many different reasons why you would want to back up your phone. The first reason being you're interested in upgrading and you really want a quick easy in, easy out of that store. Another reason is you really want to know your information is backed up in case you lose your phone, it's broken. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to back up your Apple product. Whether it's an iPad, iPhone, they're all going to work pretty much the same as long as you have the latest software update. If you have an older software update, it's going to look very similar to this, just the apps look a little bit different. So the first thing and the most important thing that we want to know is our Apple ID and our password. Your Apple ID is found in the settings. And if you click right here where it says my name, underneath it says Apple ID, iCloud, iTunes, and App Store. That's really the most important thing that this phone could ever need is that because it's going to start backing up your photos, your contacts, pictures, text messages, all because of this thing called the iCloud. The iCloud, really all you need to do is know your Apple ID and password, go in there. All this stuff, if you do want it to be backed up, you don't have to do everything. All you need to do is just make sure it's checked, you get checked in the green. You can turn that off if you want and make sure that the iCloud backup section is turned on because that way it automatically does it pretty much almost every single day. It's usually about every other day. But if you really want to back it up right now, just click on that and go to backup now. And you just need to be connected to Wi-Fi. That's pretty much it. That's going to make your phone, all the apps, all the placement of the apps, your wallpapers, your text messages, your call logs, all get backed up via that process. If you didn't want to back it up via the iCloud, some people have problems with they don't have enough iCloud storage space because there is a very limited amount of storage space unless you pay for more. There is other ways to back up your information. One of them being Google Photos, Google, Google Drive, pretty much any Google product will do it, Google Drive and Google Keep. Contacts really is a very small percentage of the amount of storage space. So as long as you have your Apple ID in the iCloud section, your contacts will be backed up anyways. But Google Photos will do all of your photos and your videos anytime that you're connected to Wi-Fi. Right, so these are all our photos and all you need to know is your Gmail address and password. So that's another very important thing if you plan on backing up your phone this way. Google Drive does the same thing with all your documents. PDF files, you can even add photos on here, you can add notes. Another way to add notes is with Google Keep. So kind of a simplified version of Google Drive where it does do notes. Hi everyone. And that can be seen from any of my devices. I just need to download the app or go on a computer and log into my Gmail address and password. And all of this information is be able to be shared amongst other devices too, not just Apple products, if you use these three apps. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Cellcom's Facebook page for more helpful tips and information.